Welcome to the Light, Hope, and Healing Podcast, where we discuss why you have stress, anxiety, pain, illness, and how to heal from it. I am your host, Tracy Gorick. My background is a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor, intuitive, and channel. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's podcast. This week's topic is, as you heal, how do you help your children? And this is an important one because as we heal, we see some of the things that we've done that possibly could be hurting them or could have hurt them or done damage to them. But even as they're still older, middle school, high school, young adults, and even adults as they get later on in life and you're still, you've finally healed and realized what has happened to you and why you did the things you did and and you understand what you did was damaging, you can still help them with it, right? And I did talk about it in the generational trauma and I discussed that and what to do. So go watch that. It's either a video or podcast um, if you didn't watch that one yet. But So as you heal, though, you start to realize what's happened, what you did, and now you can help your children. So I wanted to give you some ideas on how you can do that, right? So damage, all children get trauma, regardless if it's from you or church or school or just life in general, right? It could even be sports that cause the trauma and in turn is going to cause them issues later in life if we don't catch it so the best thing is the sooner you you start to heal yourself the sooner you can start helping your children and that would be whatever age they are at whatever it is you know if they're even 40 50 you can still help them so one would be so let's just say it's children your children that you did right because we're going to go into other things to help them damage you did you first of all let them know that you know you did things that weren't right and that you're sorry you know you did the best you could but you're sorry and you know you did them but you did try you had the best intentions whatever it is but say you do know you did mess up and you're sorry okay that's one thing you can do let them know that your stress, your pain from your past would get triggered when you'd get overwhelmed with them when they were kids or whatever. And so it would trigger you and you might have overreacted to a lot of situations, right? You weren't calm, but now you've worked on yourself and you've learned what that was and you've healed it and you want to let them know that you're sorry and want to help them lessen the issue the same issues you had right so that's basically the bottom line you just want to let them know that you know you've done things to them if you can if you know what they are let them know if you don't just let them know you know you've done things and even if there's some you do know no you can tell them some that you did know and you say I know I don't even remember all of them but I know that they were there And again, just apologize and say you're sorry. And I want to, you know, I want you to be able to go on with your life knowing that I do know what I did. Because I think a lot of the damage um, for kids as they get older comes to them because they just feel, well, their parents were just like that. And they didn't even realize they did it. They were just mean or got angry or they were stressed or they were depressed. And so they grew up holding that. And if you can at least acknowledge it to them, that's going to help them heal a lot just doing that, okay? So other damage that could have been done to your kids is they could have been bullied as a kid, right? So even as a kid, if they're being bullied or if it was a kid, if they're adults and they were bullied, you still remember, need to remember that because it's going to affect them their whole life until they heal it, right? And remember, when they heal it, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So they could have been bullied by other kids, right? And that's going to affect them. 
they could have been bullied by teachers and that's going to affect them. I've seen that. I've seen it over and over again. And it's, it's difficult, you know, when you have an authority figure who's bullying you. It's difficult. And that's something that's going to be hard for the kids to overcome. Then there's things that they were taught in school that maybe they felt conflicted with. That's going to affect them, right? Or there's things they were taught in church that they're going to be conflicted with. That's going to affect them. So that's, these are just a few things that could affect kids. And I'm giving you the, all these examples that aside from yours, just maybe you could even throw in there, like if you knew they were bullied when you're having this conversation with them or writing a letter, whatever it is, let them know, I know this happened to you and I'm so sorry. Right? Validate their feelings. You know? Okay? So... I'm giving you all these examples so you understand why, you know, kids or even adult, your adult children are where they're at. And it's just for you to maybe think on some things that may have happened to them so you understand why they are acting or what they're doing in their life or if they're having the pain and illnesses, right? So what can you do? So say, you know, your child has a lot of maybe anger issues. They could be younger, they could be teenagers, they could be young adults or adults and they have anger issues. If that's going on, you want to keep calm. You don't want to react to them. You don't want to react back in anger to their anger, okay? If you have to walk away because there's nothing you can say, then walk away. But don't escalate it. Don't try to get in there and help them understand at that moment because in that moment they're not ready for it. So you just want to keep calm, and if you need to walk away, then walk away. Let them be angry, you know? Let them be angry, even if it's at you. Let them be angry. Don't try to be like, well, you you shouldn't be that way. No, just let them be ang- angry. Let them be where they're at, right? One thing you can do, though, and we do this all the time in the healings, is send them white light or gold light, whatever it is you're drawn to use. I used to do white light, and then I was guided to gold light, but both are good. You just decide what's best for you. You can send them gold light. And that's one thing you do, you can do to help them. You want to be supportive. Just be supportive. Don't poo-poo their thoughts. Don't poo-poo anything that they're coming to talk to you about. Don't even poo-poo what they're angry about. You know, if it's not you, just let them be. So don't react, you know, and come up with reasons as to, well, it's, you know, that's happening because you've had this past trauma. Don't do that in that moment. You just need to let them be and don't react, don't respond. Just be calm and let them know that you care about them and you understand why they're upset. And just then let them be until it's time and they're ready to heal. So it's just being there for them. It's just hearing them out and not reacting. And like I said, if if it is directed at you, any of the anger, make sure you have let them know that you're sorry for what you have done in the past. I think that will help with a lot of things. And if it doesn't, it's okay. Just do what you can let them know that you're there for them and let them know you understand and just let it be and then one day soon they're going to get to the place you did and heal and again the other thing you can do aside from sending the gold light is continue to work on yourselves because that will carry over to them just you healing yourself and them seeing you heal yourself will carry over to them All right, so that's what I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If if you loved it and you got something out of it, but you feel like you need more, I have a membership group. We meet twice a month on Tuesdays where we have topics and answer questions. On Mondays, I do a message for the group, and on Wednesdays, I send healing to whatever you post in the Facebook group that you want healing sent to. It's about the group is set to have for the accountability because you listen to these podcasts or watch the videos and 
you get this great information and you run with it and then you forget or you get back into the trauma or you get back into the programming and you fall back into the same old patterns. This helps you have the accountability to keep going, keep doing what you were doing and catching yourself and to, to reprogram and stop this pain and illness patterns that we have from the trauma. So we'd love to have you in there. All the information's in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions. So let's get ready for the healing meditation. If you are driving or using heavy machinery, you need to stop listening to the podcast now because we are going to be doing a healing meditation and the energy is very powerful and can make you sleepy and lose concentration. Come back when you stop driving or using the heavy equipment and enjoy the healing meditation. All right, go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to imagine the violet flame below your feet. It's coming up and around and through your whole body. It's cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. Any negative thoughts that come up, just put it in the violet flame. Any anger, stress, frustration, just put it in the violet flame. Anything you feel that has come from others, any anger, any arguments, any traffic incidences, just put that in the violet flame. That is not yours to deal with, that is theirs. And then finally, anything from the consciousness that you feel you may have picked up on. Just put it in the violet flame to transmute. All right, now I want you to take a deep breath in. Hold it and then exhale. Take another deep breath in, hold it, and this time on the exhale, relax your body. One last deep breath in, hold it. On the exhale, release everything that's no longer serving you into that violet flame. Now I want you to imagine gold light coming down from God's source to the top of your energy. It gets to the top of your energy and it splits apart and goes all the way around to below your feet and then connects back. So you're in this bubble of gold light of protection from God's source. Now, again, I want you to imagine God, gold light coming down from God's source, whatever your belief is, into the top of your head. It goes all the way down to your heart. It fills up your heart with that gold light. You're going to open your heart up now and you're going to send gold light to those that have harmed you. And it's okay, you're sending this gold light to heal the situation. You don't have to hang around the people, you don't have to be around them, you don't even have to talk to them. But you're healing the situation for you because it affects you and your health. So go ahead and send that gold light now to those that have harmed you. And be at peace with it because, like I said, you do not need to hang around them, talk to them, or anything like that. Just healing the situation for you. So send that gold light now to those that have harmed you. Alright, when you feel that's done, send gold light to those you have harmed. And if you can't think of anybody, put the intention out there that it goes to those you have harmed. Because we all have done it, we just might not even realize it. And you want to heal this for you and them. So send gold light now to those you have harmed. Now I want you to add sending gold light to all of your family. So go ahead and add sending the gold light to your family now. Now add sending gold light to everyone in your city. Now add sending gold light to everyone in your state. And 
Now add sending gold light to everyone in your country. And now add sending gold light to everyone around the world. When you feel that's done, bring the gold light back into your heart. Take that gold light down your spine. It's going to split at your hips and go down both legs. Out the bottom of your feet, down into Mother Earth. It's going to wrap around the crystals in Mother Earth and back up your feet, up your legs, connecting at your spine. All the way up your spine, out the top of your head, all the way up to God's source and then back down into the top of your head again. So you're getting healing energy from God's source, earth, the crystals, and I'll send healing energy that comes through me from God's source. So sit back and relax, and I will send it now. Alright, I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in now. Hold it. And then exhale everything that came up in that healing that needs to be released into the violet flame that's around you. We're going to take that violet flame, send it back up to God's source to transmute it. Go ahead and open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And that's what I have for today. If you enjoyed this podcast, but you feel like you need a little bit more accountability, then I have a membership group. It's $9.99 a month. We meet twice a month on Tuesdays and do Tuesday Tea where we have uh, topics or they ask questions. We also have Mondays where I do a message for the group and Wednesdays we do you post what you want healing sent to and I send it to you. On Wednesdays there's a great group of people in there they're all going through the same thing as you so you have that accountability to help keep you on track because you listen to the videos or the podcasts and you get on down the road and they sound great at first but then you forget so this gives the accountability to keep you on track and we'd love to have you in there we have a great time and we help each other out so All of the information is in the description below, and we'd love to have you in there. So that's what I've got for today. Go do something you love, something that lifts you up, brings you joy. Do at least one thing every day that brings you joy that you love to do. And then do one thing every day of self-care. Drink tea, Epsom salt, bath, pray, meditate. Do at least one of those every day. And then look for the good in everything. And when you see something in someone, say it to them. Lift them up and lift yourself up. And finally, write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things every day, and I promise you, you are going to see a difference in your life. That's all I have for today. Have a great day. I love you all, and I will see you next week.